The sound of jazz music and smell of Cajun food filled the dining room hall of Rusco last night. The event was the fourth annual celebration of Mardi Gras that was sponsored by student organizations in the Diversity Center. So there are seven organizations that are housed within the Diversity Center um, and each one of us got put in charge of some aspect of something. So there were people in charge of decorations, in charge of music. People were able to try food from yats, create masks, and listen to some jazz music. Students came to the event for a variety of reasons. Exchange student from England, and I know it's a really big thing in America, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun. I guess the king's bread. <laughs> I want the beans. For the beans, baby. <laughs> Instead of having traditional Mardi Gras floats, each organization created Mardi Gras murals depicting the celebration. Guests were given the opportunity to vote on which ones were their favorites by using their phones. So, coming to the event, you go onto your phone. Um, I believe that it picks up whoever's in the area and you get an email saying, hey, um, vote on what poster you deem fitable. Actually, you can, if you do not vote, you're not able to eat. The event was not just about celebrating Mardi Gras, but also used to teach students a little bit about New Orleans. We use Mardi Gras, this experience, to actually teach students um, about different aspects of New Orleans, especially after Katrina. Um, today, our uh, message is actually the preservation of culture within New Orleans after Katrina. So um, this is a great moment for education as well as enlightenment as well. For the Butler Beat, I'm Whitney Simmons.